Artificial reef off of South Padre Island called RGV Reef is growing. And right now materials are being added to the Gulf floor to expand the sea wildlife habitat. Christian Von Pricing reports on their newest addition today. Off the island now, this buoy is on the way over to the RGV Reef. It's been several years in the works, now the size of 1,600 acres, slightly bigger than the city of South Padre Island in terms of size, and there's still more work to do. Over the last several years, the floor of the Gulf has transformed with the addition of concrete, decommissioned ships. To create a lot of cracks and crevices for fish to hide. A place to live and breed for fish and other marine species. Small crevices, intermediate sized crevices, large crevices. Restoring this part of the Gulf after decades of overfishing. There's more reef on the way, more concrete railroad ties. We drop them down like tangled pickup sticks. Today's mission, a portion of the 1,650 acre reef, now getting a buoy in honor of a donor. The spot to be called Biggs Reef, the buoy marking the spot for fishermen to moor their boats where the fish population continues growing. And the exact population is now being measured. We spend hundreds and hundreds of hours side scanning the entire reef to really quantify the fish. The study is underway to map out the sea life on every square foot of the reef. Dr. Richard Klein with UTRGV is leading that using a sonar system. Similar to what you have on your, on your boat for a, or a fish finder, except for these are, are calibrated scientifically. What they're seeing now, he says, conservatively, is hundreds of thousands of fish. We started out with an area that was barren sand and mud. We surveyed it before uh, there was any reef material down, and there were a few fish here and there, but they were mainly sand and mud associated fish. And now we have fish on every structure that we put down. So we've made an entire ecosystem. I mean, if this was on land, it would have been a giant forest that we had made. The buoy was towed out to the reef location, 13 miles offshore. And that's also the plan for all this additional material. Concrete railroad ties that were donated by a railroad company. We've got a lot of material to deploy. We still got many other um, ships that we'll be deploying out in the reef. Friends of RGV Reef Director Curtis Haynes said they have at least 12,000 more concrete ties waiting. Two more decommissioned ships to sink into the water. So what's, uh, what needs to happen? We are in desperate need of funding for deployment. It costs money to get this material on the boat and deployed. Everything else we got donated. The latest addition, this buoy going to a spot that fishermen will use as a landmark, marking a growing fish population. We don't think we're going to be stopping anytime soon. He says the end goal is to keep expanding the reef and the habitat that comes with it. Christian Von Price, Channel 5 News.